The penises of the animal world are so strange and varied, they almost make the human penis look boring. So here are my top 10 favourite animal penises. Be warned, these pictures are not for the faint of heart. At number 10, the barnacle. The barnacle has the longest penis relative to its body size, up to 8 times its length. But why does it need such a long penis? Barnacles live by sticking themselves to rocks or the bottoms of whales or the underside of ships. And so if they see a female that they really like on another part of the rock, they can't go to her, she can't go to them. So you just extend your penis towards her. Number nine is the blanket octopus. The females can grow to be really, really big, up to two meters long, but the males are itty, itty, bitty, only 2.4 centimeters long. So if a male finds a female in the open sea, which is pretty rare, he's got to make the most of his opportunity. The male has a reproductive arm called a hectocotylus, which is where he houses his penis. When they mate, he leaves his hectocotylus inside her and detaches and probably dies. But the female keeps a hold of his penis until she decides it's time for her to have babies. And then when she does, she takes it out, she lays her eggs and she squeezes it out like a tube of toothpaste. Number eight is the duck. Now, some of you might have already heard about the crazy duck penis, but if you haven't, it is long and corkscrewed. And when I say long, I mean really, really long. But why does it need such a long penis? It's because even though most ducks form mating bonds, some male ducks will force themselves onto females. And what they do is they want to get their penis as far in her as possible so that they can deposit their sperm further than any other males that have come before him. That way they'll be closer to the eggs. But the females have developed a defense against this. They have these labyrinthine vaginas with dead ends and twists and turns. And if a guy has forced himself on her and she's not really into it, she can lead him down the wrong way. But if she likes him, then she relaxes herself so that he can get all up in the right place. Number seven is the leopard slug. This is a leopard slug penis. The uh, bluish thing hanging down, actually that's two penises. Leopard slugs are hermaphrodites, so how they mate is two of them perch on a branch, and they wrap themselves around each other, and then they descend from the branch from this mucus string that they make. Then they unfurl their penises, they need the gravity to do this because they're so big. Then they wrap the penises around each other and inseminate the other. Number six is the echidna or the spiny anteater. Look away now if you are easily frightened because the echidna has a four-headed penis. The female has a two-branch vagina, so the males only ever use two at a time, and the other two are benched and out of action, and then they alternate between the left pair and the right pair. Now, it wouldn't be a video about animal sex if the dolphin wasn't included. Possibly the kinkiest species in the animal kingdom. Dolphins keep their penises inside a genital slit, I guess a bit like labia, for streamlined purposes. Number four is my best friend, the domestic cat. Although they're probably not my best friend anymore. Maybe I'll just keep females. Because the cat has backward facing barbs on their penis, made out of keratin, the same thing that our nails are made out of. These spines scratch the inside of the female cat's vagina to induce ovulation. Number three are flatworms. Some flatworms are hermaphrodites, but they can't inseminate the other simultaneously like in leopard slugs. They have to decide which role they're gonna play, i.e. who is gonna be the father of these offspring and who is gonna be the mother. Both wanna be the father because it means there's no responsibility for looking after the offspring, you don't have to carry the offspring. It's very energy costly to be a female. So how do they decide? by penis fencing. Yep, that's exactly what you think it is. They fight and race to try and be the first to inseminate the other, at the same time trying to dodge the other one's penis. I suppose they are literally trying to cock block each other? Number two is the elephant. Now elephants have humongous penises, up to a meter long, but that's not the most interesting thing about them. They can move them independently. When a male mounts a female, it can be pretty hard to find the right hole, so he just has a little feel around to find the right place. And number one is the water boatman. The water boatman is the loudest animal relative to its body size, but how does it make its wondrous song? With its dick. He rubs his penis alongside a ridge on his abdomen, a bit like a washboard or maybe like playing a string on the violin. The mechanism isn't totally clear. Making a sound like this is called stridulation, which is the same thing grasshoppers and crickets do, except they use their legs and their wings. 
And that's my top 10. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe, share it on Twitter. Please don't send it to your work friends. I mean like, unless you're a penis scientist or something. There's loads more fun information in the description if you want to know more. Bonus penis! Female hyenas have really long clitorises that look like penises and they're called pseudophalluses. The reason they have this is to prevent forced mating. The only way a male can get himself inside of her is if she retracts her clitoris to expose the hole. She also gives birth through this clitoris. And not only does she have this pseudophallus, but also her labia are fused together to form what looks like a scrotum.